Welcome back folks, this is Green XI and this is episode 60 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. We'll be finishing off Kefka's Tower, or the majority of it, during this episode, hopefully. The next thing we actually need to do is find the next dragon. So, let's get to that. Down here. Ooh, chest chest, let's get that. Megalixa, nice. Um, let's keep going down. We can't keep going down. I don't want to go in the door quite yet. There's a shiny treasure chest by you, which changed the conveyor belt to the left when we just passed it. So let's get this treasure chest. It's a rainbow brush, obviously for Realm. It's possibly the best weapon. Now we need to go all the way back round to the door. Back down. <laughs> I'm used to having last dungeons where there's really good music, epic music, to lead up to the end, you know? But not you. We've heard this music loads of times. Okay, let's go for the dragon. You don't have to, you can just go up the stairs and you'll be completely fine. But we're gonna go for it. Again, you can just use attack, attack, attack. Or you can use ultimate, or... Whatever you want, really. It's not the toughest dragon in the game, but it does do quite a bit of damage. It looks to me like a rise would work. Just use raise or rise on it and it will die. But I don't know. Should we give it a go? Why not? Try a raise. If it's still alive by that point. If not, we'll just uh, we'll just go for the attacks now. Because that's what I want to do. Here we go, let's see if it works. Skull Dragon. No, don't seem to work. Unless it literally did just miss, but I, I think it just doesn't work. Okay, so that's another dragon down, just one more to find. Quite happy about that, that went really quick. Muscle belt. Yeah. Okay, one dragon remaining. Here we go. We just need to follow the path now, it's pretty linear this- Oh wow, just fought another Yajimbo. And he used the eye for an eye thing, where when he dies, he uh, uh, he tries to kill off a character. But he missed, which was nice. Right, back to party number two now. Not Mog's party, so we do still need to do... Um... Oh, sorry, there's a hairdryer in the background. I hope you can't hear it. We still need to have battles, that's what I was trying to say. We need to get to the other switch now, to let Morg and Terra and everyone... I forgot to put the new brush on her. Should we have a look? Where's a rainbow brush? That was the one. Takes your magic evasion down, that's fine. But it takes your magic stamina, speed and strength up. Mm -hmm. Can't complain. Pretty amazing. Anyway, let's, let's carry on, shall we? <laughs> I want to go in the left pipe here. Can't quite remember where the right pipe leads to, but I know this is the way we need to go. Chest. We need... <laughs> Anyways, let's get the chest. Four shield. That's quite nice, actually. Do you want it, Sian? Uh, never mind. Let's just leave normal shields on. Let's go down here, down the conveyor belt. And, where should we go now, folks? This one. <laughs> here we go, chest chest first. Ribbon. Nice, we got another ribbon. And now we're going to switch on over to party number one. So that they can cross over <coughs> where we just opened up. Now we can't have random battles either, so that's amazing. Remember this little scene from um, from the Magitech research facility, this little area? I w I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's what's been absorbed into the tower and everything. Or if it's just, like, he wanted it to be similar. Y you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Ah, this was opened up with the third party when they pressed the button on the shiny chest. Let's get his chest over here before anything else. Pinwheel? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. And up here. Where are we now? We've made it to the end, have we? Nice, it's locked, so we can't actually go through yet. I can't think. Oh, 
Okay, let's go back to the second party, I said. Because we're done. Because we're done with the other two parties for now. Shall we go right then in this door? I think it might be a good one. Ooh. I hope this is the wrong way, so we find a treasure or something. Oh, the last dragon. Let's heal up a little bit first. Here we go. This guy, once again, he's not a tough dragon. We've fought harder ones when we were lower level. Gold dragon? <laughs> he's the thundery type. But he's fine. We're just going to go all out with attacks for now. We'll... He'll go down quick enough even with just physical attacks, you know. So why not? I think even at the low level this would be an easy enough dragon. I mean, look at him. Begin sto storing energy. So he's going to get a bit tougher. Either way. Done. <laughs> the last bit of health apparently gets a bit stronger if he gets an attack in. Nah. At least we know we're going a good way. Get ready, there'll be a message after this now. I'm not sure if he's in a battle after it. Run up Berserk. Oh, lovely. Crystal Orb. That's good for the Yeti. All the dragons have been defeated. The Eightfold Seal is broken. So now, we can go into the extra dungeon for the GBA version once we beat this dungeon. Crusader Magicite as well. On his face is a short inscription. The seal's broken, then I am free. You who defeated the legendary eight, I shall wait you at the Dragon's Horn. That's given you a hint about where the last dungeon is, and I'll show you exactly where that is after this is all done. Let's see what this Esper is like as well. Crusader, greatly damages all enemies and allies, so it'll hurt yourself as well. Oh dear. Meltdown. That's in Final Fantasy VIII as well. Envelops all enemies and your own party in Ultra Hot Flame. If you absorb fire damage, that means you're going to hurt the enemy and heal yourself, which is amazing. Meteor, we've seen the, dra the dinosaurs in Dino Forest using that move all the time. You know what it does. A lot of damage to all enemies. MP plus 50%, that's the best MP... Um, best MP boosting level up stat that <laughs> we've got so far. I'm not going to put it on though, just because. Just because. Expected to take this long to get through the dungeon in general. But meh. Okay, so let's see. Right, we're on the other side now. So the main team can go through the door now without random encounters. How amazing is that? Good, thank god. <laughs> They're a nightmare to edit out, that's all. What do we need to do now? I'm trying to think. Ooh, we'll go the right way. Push this down. Oh, move out the way. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Sabin. And everyone. Let's try again. Go on, Terra, you can do it. It's like Zen of the Warrior Princess. Right, so. <laughs> Sabin can come in now. Let's just go back to the switch up here, shall we? Come on, Sabin. You're the only one who can actually do anything right now. Alright, now we need to go down with Sabin. Trying to keep my thoughts, you know. And get Sabin out of the way. Uh, Sion, sorry. <laughs> it suits Sabin more than Terra, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Pushing that weight then. Back in. And back to the switch in here. Keep going. <laughs> Now we need to switch to the only party who isn't on the switch inside. So into the... Come on, Sion. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there, Sion. Now that that's done, we can move on a little bit. Yes. Ooh, boss time. This guy's fine. Use electric moves if you really want to. It's up to you. I bet you know what I'm going to do, though. Actually, let's go for Thundaga. Why not? Why not have a little change? Yeah, less MP and just as much damage. If not, no, I want more, but still. <sighs> it's a really fitting boss, isn't it, for this game? This whole last dungeon is really fitting for the game entirely. Because it's really mechanical and everything, just like the whole game has been. All about technology. 
Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, you need to level up loads of your characters in the game, 12 of them out of the 14, in order to get through this dungeon properly. You could get away with not leveling a couple of them and using a couple of stronger characters to cover for the weaker ones, maybe. That's probably a good idea. Do less leveling. But if you're going for the extra dungeon after the game, that, <laughs> that might not be quite such a good idea. No items? Okay. Save point. That's why I use a tent while we're here, because there's going to be a couple more bosses before the last bosses. Boss bosses. Depends how you look at it, I guess. And let's keep going. Doesn't matter which order you do this in, I don't think. Can't quite remember um, who's got which boss. Something down here, ribbon. So we've got three ribbons now. Yeah. <laughs> boss number one. This the this is the war in triad statues that caused all this problem. All these problems in the first place. Boss number one is Demon. Looks like stats effects are going to be his little forte, but meh. Looks like we lost Realm. Is she yellow? Yeah. Okay, well, well that's fine. That's fine. Look at the other three characters too. The boss. Byraga. So much damage out That's quite a bit of damage. If we're level at all, that would be a fair amount. What's this box look like? Something from Final Fantasy VIII, I can't remember what. Is it, um... Isn't one of the last bosses in Final Fantasy VIII look like this? Don't she look like this in one of her forms? Hmm. I don't know, I might be mixing up with something. Anyway. Blast away! Ah, <laughs> Poor Realm. Might be able to get her back before he dies now. Of Ultima, I think he'll be dead after this Ultima. I get a suspicious little feeling that he'll be dead. Suspicious? I don't think we're feeling the suspicious. Anyway. <laughs> oh no. Ow. <laughs> I can't press R well to scroll through the list of spells. I'm pretty sure I could on the Game Boy Advance. So I was using the Game Boy Advance SP to um, level and stuff at work and during the dinner hour and all that crap. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. I think that was a new lance, wouldn't it? I really should have paid attention there. One triad statue number one. Done. Two more to go. What's he, what's he going down for? Dozy little shit, you need to go up. <laughs> oh, he can't have the lance anyway, can you? Alright. Alright, that's as far as we can go with this party. So we're going to use a tent. It might seem like I'm wasting tents, but we've got loads of money. That's the only reason why. He can save again, just for the sake of it, really. Kefka's Tower. Probably should have mentioned the name of this place a bit earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's try the other party first, shall we? Oh, I've missed something. Hold on a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, back where we fought the boss. Down. I want to go down all the way now to the switch up by O, which I completely forgot to press. We should have pressed it before. But didn't. <laughs> See you in a sec, once again. Okay, we're back to the end of this path. Let's go down the hole. Because we'll need to go down these holes with each of the three characters. If we go down there, there's a conveyor belt that we didn't go past. It's no point me showing you, because there's nothing there, but if we really needed to, you know, through the other door. 
that we've just opened up with CM's Switch. And it's time for the next boss in a moment once we finish going through a million doors. Here we go. We've done Demon. This one is Fiend. A little bit different, but not entirely different. Once again, you can either just go all up with physical attacks or ultimates. Make sure to heal if you ever need to again. That's pretty obvious by this point. <laughs> Let's bring good old Shadow back. Use a weak fire spell and it'll melt the ice. I wonder how much you're in. Huh, no, not much at all. Good. I wasn't sure, because our magic stat's pretty high, but it looks like our magic defense stat is pretty high as well. I'm guessing that's why, anyway. Set, sir, uh, don't die on us. Can't believe this series is coming to an end so soon. I mean, it, it does feel like it's been a long series, to be honest, but... At the same time... I can't believe this... I think it's more like, I can't believe this last dungeon is coming to an end. So quickly. Things are always trembling violently. That can't be good. I wonder what that meant. Maybe it just means that he's weak. His physical attack didn't seem to do much more damage than it did before, if it did any more. So I don't know. I don't know what that meant, really. I think he's counter-attacking, is he? Maybe that's what it was. There we go. Boss done. A couple of Ultimas is all it takes. Ultima might use a lot of MP as well within this area with plenty of save points and healing points and all that. Okay, so that's statue number two done. One more to go. I don't know if this episode's going to be really long or not, because there's been so many battles, it's been hard to keep track of how long the battle's been going on for, you know? Yeah, who knows. About the 93 tenths now. Oh god, we're going to run out. Hey, let's make our way to the switch. We might as well. Here we go. I thought it was a bit further than that, to be honest. Won't be having any random encounters with this party. Yay! That does make me happy. Pretty damn happy. Okay, here we go. Statue number three. Goddess! Okay! Not too hard. We're gonna go with physical attacks with this one, I think. See how much damage we do. Oh, wow! Better not attack with Mog. <laughs> it looks like Holy heals this boss. Or Celeste, is there anyone we can attack with? Okay, so we'll only attack with Edgar and Terra. Protect me! Oh shit. <laughs> that was fine, didn't do much damage anyway, it just wasted a turn. What? Ah no, what's going on? It's going funny. It's going funny! <laughs> That's a nice effect for the snares here. We can't attack because of... We're gonna try an ultimate. If she dies, then... It's fine, we can always revive her, can't we? She's just killing herself anyway, so it's no guilt anyway. Yeah! I like... I do like how... Her spread attacks... Or multiple target attacks are only hitting one side. It makes for a bit more variety. Looks like magic will work as well. It's only physical attacks that seem to hit Terra instead of the boss, instead of the goddess. So fine. What's that attack even doing? A tiny bit of damage? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. I think Flare might actually be just as good as Ultima by this point. We'll try it if we get enough time. Nope. Okay, well, whatever. 
I'm pretty sure they changed the boss design of this boss. You know, the artwork and stuff. So she's more covered up for Western release. In Japan, I think it was there. Uh, I think she's a bit more naked. But I might be thinking of a different boss. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so that's the three warring triad statues done. There's only one more person to take on. We destroyed the one triad, but this power of magic isn't hidden like it should be. Could Kefka have extra extracted the very source of magic from them? Yeah, so Kefka is the only... Only guy left. And we'll be checking that out in the next episode. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. In the next episode, we'll take on the last boss or bosses, depending on how you look at it. As well as all the credits and then story and everything. So it might be a bit of a longer episode. Yeah. So, see you in a bit.